we're going to do our grilled steak with kale, Caesar salad, and smashed potatoes. So obviously if you want to go out to a restaurant for a steak, you can do that, but you can also do it right here at home. This is getting eager here, so we got to yeah, get on this. So um, sure. this is a, a, a seasoning rub that you're just super excited about. Yeah, totally. So I have the ribeye steak here tonight. It is a nice, tender, very marbled beef, so you're going to get so many flavors here. Uh, and the rub is just going to add that really extra, extra zing to your steak. Um, so it's really easy to make. You can actually make this in a jar at home and then save it for another time as well. Um, and I'll let you know what's in here. So we yes. have some salt, pepper, garlic. It's actually like a dried garlic flake. Okay. Uh, then you have some onion powder, hot paprika, dried basil, and dried thyme. So I will get started here because okay. we have a nice hot pan. Uh, so I'm just gonna rub the steak, make sure I get my gloves on. So is this kind of like something I guess that you could use on any cut that you Yeah, really I was going like. to say with a rub, you don't need to let that marinate for too long. So as long as you have a nice tender cut of beef, okay. um, just marinate that and you can throw it on the grill right away. So whether you want to use a cast iron pan or a grill, uh, either one will work. So and Jerry, you kind of like push that or like kind of not tap mash, it down. But yeah, just you so can that actually, it yeah, you can or? totally do it afterwards. Um, but you put that much on, is this like, yeah, you don't, load be it up. Okay, don't be shy. Don't be shy because what's going to happen is you're going to slice your beef and you're going to get so much of that beef without flavor. Mm -hmm. um, so just, you know, kind of make you sure. You want to get as much on the outside exactly. and even yeah, on the edges too. All right. And some steaks are so thick, right? So be generous with your steak spice. Get it all on and there. And get it all on. And we okay. have a hot pan, so we have to be really careful. Okay. When you put your steak, you want to put it down away from you. So oh, we'll just let that yeah. sit there. And we can even just add some extra spice. <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay. Perfect. So we're just going to let that... Uh, so how about I take that? Or you've sure. got that over there? Yeah, right. maybe we okay. can put it aside. So, so that's number one. Yeah, it looks great. Second, so, got our yeah. smashed potatoes. Perfect. Are we ready to bring yes. these out? Now we've kind of, I guess, pre-prepped them, obviously. Yeah, so we made these earlier just for sake of time, uh, but these are really easy to make at home. So you basically want to grab some smaller potatoes, boil them down, drain the water, and then what you want to do is put them on a pan, add some oil and some salt and pepper, other seasonings if you like. And then you need a flat glass here, and you just kind of smash them. So if you boil them enough, they'll be really soft. Uh, you want to throw them back into the oven on like about 425 for 25 minutes. If you want, you can put your oven at like 450 for a really crispy potato. Oh, uh, yes. So 20, 25 minutes and then they're ready to go. So it's kind of like a cross between like roasted potatoes and mashed potatoes. Exactly. So when, when, when I read smash, I thought it would just be like, because you think like mashed potatoes just right. really chunky. Totally. That's super cool. I've never seen them yeah, like that before. Yeah, it's super simple and mm -hmm. they taste so good. So it's almost like a French fry, but a large. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, so that's so, the second part. Now exactly. what? Exactly. So making sure that your steak sears for about two to three minutes is a good start. Okay. If you want it a little bit more done, because I like medium rare. I think you do too. I'm a medium rare person. Yeah, so two to three minutes on each side is perfect. Uh, so we could probably actually... Are you flipping or am I flipping? Let's, let's see, let's see. <laughs> it is a thicker piece of meat, so you do want to keep that in mind. Ooh. But you could totally flip it at this point. Wow. You get that nice sear. So, so we'll do another per couple side, minutes. But two to three per side. And exactly. that's it. Yeah. Okay. So it's very simple um, and it's such a quick dinner, right? Wonderful. Now what's yeah. going on here? So we have a kale. kale Caesar salad tonight. I love kale because it has a nice chewy texture and it's just a nice different variety of a green, right? So you're getting different nutrients there. Um, Super nutritious, right? Exactly. Lots mm. of vitamin K, lots of fiber, uh, and you have the homemade Caesar dressing. What's in there? It How did you make so that? Good. Okay, there's okay. so tell many us, ingredients. Tell, 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 there's tell. like anchovy paste, uh, there's some oil, there's some lemon, a uh, little bit of mayo, salt and pepper. Uh, honestly, I can go on with all these ingredients. Worcestershire sauce. So, Whoa! Yeah. So this is like one of your special... Yes, I've kind Whoa. of been making my Caesar dressing for the last year now, and it's just so much better when you make it at home. Wow, okay. So is, and, this, a, is uh, this recipe going to be, be available? Exactly, yeah. Awesome. So, so you'll get all of these directions onto the website as well. GreatTasteMB.ca. So, yeah, so we can um, drizzle a little on okay. there if you'd like. I would like. <laughs> so just kind of like so. And exactly. then of course you would just mix it all up yeah. when you're ready to... And you can add as much cheese as you want. The parm cheese adds a lot I'm more just flavor. It all on there. Exactly. Okay. So good. Okay, so I think Lovely. I can turn this off. And it's done, just like that. And it's Got done. Your, yeah. Your 
uh, ribeye you had said? Ribeye, yeah. and I wanted to let you know, this is a huge piece of steak. So you know, you might be spending a little bit more money on your piece of steak, but you're gonna share that with maybe like two other people. Couple. So Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe another maybe person, not. maybe not. <laughs> But, uh, right yeah. on. Okay, so kind of like a classic, this is like a classic, you've got your steak, potato salad, sure. uh, grilled steak with kale, Caesar salad, and smashed potatoes here on Great Taste of Manitoba. Uh, when we come back, this is a really interesting mushroom crusted roast beef. Yeah. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. You're watching Great Taste of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba's farmers and ranchers. Local farms, local foods.